I think the Community Foundation is probably the most efficient, effective group that I have ever worked with. And it's all because of the people they have there. They're all very, very knowledgeable. They're always trying to look into best practices. We really get a sense face-to-face -face as to what's going on with the organizations and try to understand a little bit more about how our money might fit into helping them achieve their goals. The group process of when we make decisions is really very exciting, challenging also, but very exciting because uh, you really get uh, enthused by the uh, work that, that's going on in the community and so you become an advocate for those organizations that you've learned about in, in rather intimate detail. We're, we're a pretty dynamic group and we have great conversations and make some good decisions I think. I think a lot of people feel a great love for the Pioneer Valley because of all the natural areas. At the heart of the valley is the land. I've done environmental conservation of some sort for about 20 years and I find that protecting land through the land trust model is the most tangible progress you can make because you can see the progress acre by acre and there's no, uh, there's no question of whether you've succeeded one year at a time. In this case, the Community Foundation was able to provide a $7,000 grant which was leveraged at least 10 times with state funding. Uh, town funding from the Community Preservation Act, other foundations came forward, and then finally um, neighbors and friends of, of the Mineral Hills raised about $40,000 with Kestrel's assistance. So it's, um, it's really that scale, of, again, of grassroots to the state level that made this happen, and the Community Foundation was right at the center of that. The Mineral Hills Conservation Area, with the benefit of the Community Foundation's leverage funding, was about creating a conservation area for wildlife and for people. This is the contiguous core forest that will always be here, regardless of, of the, the development that might um, increase in village centers or along the roads. These large blocks of forest contribute to the larger regional and global needs of clean air, clean water, so it matters both on a local scale and global scale. There's an awareness that comes um, among your friends, families, and neighbors when you're doing something like this. I'm charitably inclined myself, as is my husband. We believe in uh, supporting our community. And I think there's so much strength to be derived from aggregating the collective power of a lot of people to really do much greater good than we can any, any of us do on an, our individual level. And I really believe the Community Foundation is just a, a terrific source for that. So I hope that um, by being part of this and the discussions that we have, that we can solve problems together, maybe from a lot of different aspects. I'd love to hear how people are addressing hunger because a lot of people are not only distributing food, but they're also trying to figure out ways of helping people um, to prevent the underlying problems that are causing the, the hunger. We've been faithfully supported by Community Foundation for several years, uh, supporting our positions here at the Emergency Food Pantry. We move beyond just gathering basic demographic information. We really help people get linked to other community resources so that they can become more self-sufficient. As much as we can, that's what we do for them to be self-sufficient by looking for a job, for feeling important, where to go to get suits and things like that so they can get prepared for the interview or for the resume, things like that. We offer financial literacy classes here at the food pantry. We offer cooking and nutrition workshops, and then we offer links to community resources. For at least four, five, four to five years, the Community Foundation has supported positions here at our emergency food pantry. It's extremely vital. There's very few foundations that support staffed positions. It's more likely that we're gonna get support for food without you know the overhead costs being supported there is no food that can be distributed so it's very very important to us thank you so much i love to work with people and the main thing here is the kids we want the kids to have a plate of food the fact that we're helping people meet their basic needs is um, you know something that's extremely rewarding and uh, i truly believe that unless you start at the very basics there's no way people can move towards self-sufficiency and i feel that we're a stepping stone in that process 
I guess it never really truly came home to me just how key the foundation is to philanthropy here until I really got involved in the distribution side. We have um, like about 110 different funds that are scholarships for the Community Foundation. And so that gives us the opportunity to award like 800 scholarships a year. And that's really rewarding because you know you're helping students get an education that they might not have otherwise had. My name is Les Campbell. I am an accounting and interior design major here at Bay Path College. To explain how much I appreciate the scholarships that I got and the, the loans, it changed everything. Everything. My whole life from here forward, well from then forward, totally changed. I took care of my kids. That was what I did. Now my children are older, they're starting their lives. My children are going to college. My youngest is a freshman in high school. Now it's time for them to understand that I need to start my new life now. I was accepted by another school and this school, but in the other school, I was just like another number. I wouldn't have lasted at the other school. In this school, there's not that many students compared to the teachers, so you're not just a number. It's better to matter more, especially if you're not a traditional student who is in a traditional program. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. To go to this school cost a lot more than to go to the other school. It's like a door opened up that would never have otherwise. This campus is inspiring. My major plan was to get my degrees and then do tax accounting during the tax season and then off season do interior design. But since then, I have been drawn more to forensic accounting, is where you, you, know, you go in and you investigate accounting fraud. It's nice to come to school and do the best I can and show my children that it can be done. I wanted to be the, the positive role model that, that I would have liked to have seen in my life. Those of us who volunteer get as much out of it as the people that receive the grants.